Hi, this is Frederick Scott Smith. Is the United States a democracy? The short answer is no. Technically, we are a republic, also known as a representative democracy. So when people ask the question, they mean, do we have direct democracy? Direct democracy is when the people make the law. Except for approving state constitutional amendments like in Pennsylvania or propositions in California, why don't we have a direct democracy? Many of the founding fathers, such as James Madison, had an unfavorable opinion of democracy, whose historical representative was ancient Athens. Athens had evolved from a monarchy to an aristocratic oligarchy to a direct democracy. Early reforms included the codification of law under Draco the Lawgiver, which included harsh punishments from which we get the term draconian. Solon and Clisthenes brought about a more inclusive role for free adult men of Athens. Eventually, those qualified gathered in the assembly to vote on the law. A council guided them with an agenda, and citizens ran for office, like the executive position of general. The people served as jurors and audited the performance of leaders. Despite the democratic reforms, the system did not last. Passionate speeches filled with rhetoric often swayed the people. Athens grew increasingly proud of its leadership against Persia and insisted on continuing a league of Greek states for trade and influence. Using force to govern membership, Athens provoked Sparta out of their isolationism into the Peloponnesian War. After a long conflict, the people, filled with patriotism, failed to realize the reality of their situation. As a result, Sparta won, democracy faded in and out, and Athens eventually fell with the rest of Greece to conquerors. Madison and the other founding fathers saw the emotional nature of the masses. After the Declaration of Independence, states began increasing citizen involvement. Following the war, public anger over personal debt and tax collection culminated in the rebellion led by Daniel Shays. Fearful of the people's lack of logic and stability, the nation's founders designed a representative system. Embedded in the United States Constitution is the Madisonian model. In that model, in the beginning, was only one element of direct widespread involvement. When the Republic first began, the people directly elected only the House of Representatives. State legislatures chose the Senate until 1913 with the passage of the 17th Amendment. Centuries have passed, and literacy is nearly 100% of the population. Should we have more democratic influence today? I'm Frederick Scott Smith. Have a good day. I know I will.